Howdy, 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 my darling Libra. I hope you're doing well, honey. My name is Simply Velka. Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for March 2022. All right, let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates with you in what way. All right, and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy my energy or you just enjoyed this video, right? So let's get right into this, Libra. Let's see what's good, what's popping for you. What are y'all dealing with at this current point in time, my fellow Libras, honey? All right, we have the Knight of Cups coming in here. All right, starting this out strong. I want to be saying be anticipating some type of offer. Be anticipating some type of offer for sure. Um, <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure, Libra. All right, King of Cups as well as the Two of Cups energy stepping forward with this, okay? So uh, definitely some type of water sign coming in here. I feel like it's a little bit of a 50-50 split for most of you Libras and that's some of you know this person already, someone from the past I hear. Others of you, this is someone new coming in. It might even be both. Can I even say that Libra? Is that okay? Can I say that it might be two different uh, connections that are coming in? One that is definitely going to be a water sign, right? With all this water energy, with all these cups, right? And then just a separate situation here, uh, Libra. King of Cups energy. Uh, this is a sense of where someone in the past having this desire, Libra, and wanting to bring things closer again and wanting for you in hopes on some level, Libra, to get you to understand their perspective more, to get you to understand that it's very much so like this cliche, Libra, that I hear is like, it's not me, it's, or rather, it's not you, it's me type of dynamic, right? Where it's just like, hey, like, maybe we, there was some type of misunderstanding, maybe we got off on the wrong type of foot, honey, but their intention is to a cups energy, wanting to reconnect with you, all right? So back of the deck energy is the five of swords because for some reason, Libra, they've been weighing heavy on this. Uh, it's been weighing heavy on their mind and how they've either spoken to you, how they've treated you, um, or just maybe it's just like that situation where they see you as the one that got away, Libra. Because with this Five of Swords energy, it's like you might have even forgotten about this person's existence up until their um, appearance makes it, they make their appearance known again in your life. But they never forgot about you, Libra. They never forgot about you. You have consistently stayed on their mind since the very last time y'all crossed paths, whichever way that looks like. All right. So definitely be anticipating that, uh, Libra. Let's continue expounding on this energy here. We're going to do one more bridge shuffle, darling. Mm -mm. All right, Libra, we have here the Four of Wands. This is the card of marriage, Libra. All right, so definitely this person's coming in with the strong desire, Libra, the strong desire and wanting to reconnect and wanting to collaborate even. Honey, if I can even hold these cards, Libra. Three of Pentacles energy. All right, and then we have coming in the Judgment energy. So what I suspect actually has gone down for many of you Libras with the situation is that they had to go through life and experience what life was like without your existence in there, Libra. Someone was taking uh, your energy, your presence, just what it was that you provided to a situation for granted. And they thought being like, oh, well, Libra's just another one, you know, another fish in the sea, honey, right? I can get another, another Libra effortlessly. And then once they actually try to go out and get their own, a, a different Libra or just like a different connection, right? Then that's when they come across crawling back and be like, oh, wait, Libra, like, can you, you know, can you come back? Can we be friends again? You know, they didn't realize like how good they had it until um, whatever happened in the past that made you guys disconnect prior, right? This judgment energy though, darling, right? This judgment energy really lets me know of um, just how much they have been going through it, right? But there is just like this it's like Libra, they just want to be part of your life again in whatever capacity, right? I feel like they might set, like, I don't know if outwardly due to this King of Cups energy, Libra, if they would outwardly express, um, like where their heart is at truly. Like, I feel like they are still being extremely reserved and trying to play it cool here for the most part, um, if I can say that. But sorry, Libra, I have a couple of these cards mixed up here. Um, but what I can definitely tell you, Libra, is that they might just be willing to settle with just even communicating once in a while with you, Libra, in hopes that eventually that uh, you'll slowly let them back in to your life more and more. So let's see what happened in this situation, Libra. I'm so curious about it. Let me know in the comments if you feel like expressing it because it's like this person's like coming in with her tail between their legs, just very just solemn energy. Solemn, if that's how you pronounce it, darling. Uh, we have the strength energy coming in here with this chariot energy. All right, as well as the emperor energy. All right, major arcanas. Come on now. So Libra, 
here's the thing whatever happened in the past between the two of you guys i feel like life really uh took and it made an impact on y'all's relationship here that seems to be the common denominator just throughout everything it's like you two will always find each other find like y'all could either relate to one another a lot with your life experiences and just how you see the world um like i feel like there's some type of like thing that's just like uncanny of the similarities that you two have with one another libra and the thing about it is what happened with the situation beforehand is like maybe you were just going through a lot of stuff libra or they were i feel like it's kind of like a mirroring situation honestly like a lot was going down for both of you guys and so emperor energy here it's like this person like both y'all's responses to this was just like kind of like just shut down a little bit and just be like all right like i'm gonna just focus in on myself here you might be feeling libra a little bit shafted in the situation just due to the fact of where it's like you had all this going on right and then they decided to do like whatever they added to your stress and what have you libra but i'm gonna be honest here libra i feel like this is something that you want to hear them out with can i say that libra is that okay for me to say i feel like this is an energy that you kind of want to hear out a little bit hear what they have to say maybe it's going to provide some closure to you libra um but i feel like this is an important message for them they have some type of important message to bring to your awareness it could even just simply be libra where it's just like you guys catch up with one another here about how y'all's lives are going and you just get this satisfaction libra with this judgment energy here where you realize just like where their life either spiraled or just something happened in their life where you're just like ah see i told you honey that you weren't going to be able to do well without me even if it was just intuitively that you have this suspicion right also had the lover's card in the back of the deck libra um, before i started shuffling so also something to take note of all right so let's continue on with your reading libra let's continue on here we have the two of pentacles coming in here all right i see that it's gonna be adding a lot of complexities into your life you might be going to other people seeking out insight from other people or libra for some of you guys um you're going to be like if there's like a mutual connection that y'all have you're gonna be hearing from them as well i can't help but feel like libra like it's like you were minding your business for quite a while and then all of a sudden it's like everyone wants to communicate with you everyone wants to just like see what it is libra is up to high priestess energy yeah it's like you're minding your own business doing your thing and it's just like out of nowhere it's like everyone just starts coming in at you and it's just like for you libra you're just like well this energy would have been nice at a later point in my life right at an earlier point rather in your life but now that you're here like now that all this energy is coming at you at once it's a lot for you to manage right with that two of pentacles coming in i will just say flat out libra this is this march for you guys is a lot about um either just i mean some reconnections perhaps yes um but just as a whole it feels like this is going to be an extremely social month for you uh libra it feels like new energies and old energies it's like i'm being shown like a revolving door that you see at like a hotel or like busy airports and stuff like that or just like that revolving door that's what i see going on for you libra because here's the thing like you have been just minding your own business you have been elevating yourself spiritually a lot of you guys have been just going inwardly i feel libra and I don't usually throw out the words like awakening and all that because it's such an overused terminology. <laughs> Everyone's always going through some type of spiritual awakening, honey, right? Um, but for you guys, I feel like y'all have really gone through some deep healing or at the very least <laughs> some of you libras you might be saying it's like honey there ain't been no healing it's just been looking some managing wounds honey right and no shade against that right but it's just like you've been to yourself and even with the struggles that you have been going through it's been building character with yourself right with that uh strength energy girl my hair is just getting caught on my card styling and with that high priestess it's like your energy has just continuously evolved libra and it's like now people are like before it was subtle and now as the days go on like you're drawing a lot of attention you're being you're starting to become a light beacon right you're going through a rebirthing process really libra you're shedding a skin is what i hear as well so i wouldn't be really surprised libra so like during this final parts of your upgrade honey it's just like these other these energies that 
were always around, but they never paid attention to you for whatever the case is, Libra. Now they're just being like, oh, Libra, 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 right? And so just de definitely be aware about that. Be careful about it. I'm not going to be sitting here telling you how you should manage these relationships, right? And what you should be doing with them, because that's y'all's business and always going to be extremely personal to each individual. But I definitely feel like for some of you, many, all of you Libras, you're going to get a lot of, at the very least, affirmation, closure, and satisfaction for some of you honeys, right? If it's about a situation or someone that you didn't really have too high of an opinion on hearing about where their life has gone since you were gone right what is is that from like an old kelly clarkson song y'all know what i'm talking about nine of cups let's see what else is in the works for you nine of cups energy here libra with this wheel of fortune stepping forward as well as the eight of wands all right libra y'all's financial um is on the uh come up, come up darling and financial kind of just like blurted out here a ton because there's not really any financial cards here i mean other than the two of pentacles but that's the only pentacle energy here but i just hear it's just like financially things are about to be really picking up for you libra all right nine of cups energy that's a wish being granted wheel of fortune eight of wands it's like some type of movement something that you have been really setting out into the universe letting your intent be known what letting your desires be known libra where you're just like i want this i want you know whatever it is fill in the blank because we're all all of us libras are manifesting different things right darling so it's going to be different but you're going to be seeing a lot of fast forward progression um in that way i will say libra for those that are socially due to what we were getting prior in this spread there's you know this is if you've been trying to manifest like a best friend loving relationship romantic or platonic or what have you pay attention to this old energy that is coming back in as well right this is really going to be your time to be networking because this spread right here whatever it is that y'all have been trying to manifest whatever it is that has been your desire for quite a while uh libra that you've been really wanting some outside assistance and bringing this closer to you sooner or what have you libra this is really darling the time to be networking and giving energies a chance even if it's old energies darling even if, even if it's x energies hear them out and see what value they have because really just like a lot of forward uh, progression energetically is happening for you libra and i suspect for a lot of you it's due to the fact of just this um evolving process that you have been going through internally right very much so like i know we didn't pull it libra but i feel like y'all have really gone through i mean also, also obviously some bias honey because i'm a libra right but it's like i feel like many of y'all have been like spent february like in a hermiting state maybe maybe even longer honey um in a hermiting state just working on yourself and i don't feel as if you realize libra how much you have grown you may have feel like you even gone backwards in life because of just like the sense of where you don't feel like you have been as productive you know that hustle culture that we society today nowadays has us obsessed with but it's like you've grown so much and so allow these outside affirmations allow these outside energies um trying to come into your life just simply be something at the very least confirms just where it is that you are going where it is what it is that you are doing and um just the growth that you have had because y'all have really grown quite a bit libra since the last time that we connected which is over a month ago honey there's definitely been i'm not the only one that has really evolved libra so i really celebrate you with that darling all right um other than that libra um nine of cups with i mean if we're going to consider projects let's get some final uh thoughts or insight in regards to that libra but overall i just feel like this is just a very solid time for whatever it is that you guys have already like this isn't going to be some kind of unconscious manifestation this is something that you guys have been trying to put effort into very hyper aware of and that's that you have had to either cut past things out to make time for or being able to just like practice solid boundaries to bring this uh further into fruition here all right um three more cards so libra seven of cups coming in after that queen of swords as well as the three of cups here really just going back into the situation libra of where it's just like uh that queen of swords energy where you put strong boundaries up here choices are going to be presented to you with that three of cups energy following you once again libra about this so i don't care what it is that it seems to be socially is the main thing for you right now libra so all right so i love you so much be prepared for this type of networking again i feel like there is some type of significance that's why tarot keeps bringing it up libra um about all these social situations so hopefully this gives you some resonance i love you so much libra and i'm going to connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling